Hi guys, this is Angeline Fletcher coming to you with one more series in A Cup of Inspiration where we take a sip of inspiration while we chew on an Avon charm. Thank you so much for tuning in. And before I even go further, I ask that you, if you find value in this, to please like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, my name is Angeline Fletcher. I'm an entrepreneur who seek to help others to see their greater potential and to do the work necessary to achieve even greater than they are at this point. Today I want to share with you a thought. Um, it's a quote which says, when you write the story of your life, don't let anyone else hold the pen. Oh my goodness, when write the story to the story of your life, do not let anyone else hold the pen. And it makes us want to think that in order to do that, then we have to decide that we are going to be holding the pen. And it's a decision that we make. And sometimes it's hard to do because it is so much easier to just go with the flow. It's so much easier to just allow life to take us. But this thought this to today is encouraging us to make that decision to hold the pen and then it also tells us that we have to say no we would have to block those who would want to hold the pen and it is so much easier as i said before to allow somebody else to do it and there's so many people who would want to hold the pen they would want to tell you what to do what not to do where to go where, where not to go they would and sometimes with all good intentions sometimes these are people who they have had their life experiences and they would want to help you sometimes to not experience some of the things that they have experienced what they have considered to be challenging but i dare say that um it is necessary to write your own story to ensure that you are walking your own path that you are indeed doing the things that you are destined to do and so again we make that decision to hold the pen and then we need to block those who would want to be holding the pen um, for us and then of course it's 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 then all up to you it's all up to you it's all up to me to stay focused as we write that story as we go through the things that we are destined to go through that we be purposeful therefore because now we are responsible so we've got to be purposeful with the things that we choose to do and to take responsibility whether it be good whether it be challenging whether it, it brings us down at times whether we feel like we fail whether it's 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 an up thing it's a great thing that happened whatever it is because now you are the captain of your ship and so whatever waters you travel through and of course we know that sometimes the waters get rough sometimes it's smooth sailing but it's it's all up to us because on the other side of that when we achieve what we are set out to do when we do the things that we are set out to do then we we would be satisfied we would get the glory we would get the the accomplishment and the feeling the good feeling that we get from having had our own experiences so when you write the story of your life and we are all writing the story of our life we want to take responsibility for we want to make that decision and then we want to block out anyone who would want to of course we're not going to be you know unkind um to them but we want to be um decisive 
in, in what we are doing because we can indeed become anything that we, we, we want to become. As human beings, we are the most pliable ever. Any other species, animal, who have to do what they have, they have to do. We have that choice to do the things that we would want to do and we can become we can we can train ourselves to become so many things that we need to become in order to achieve the things that we are destined because God has this great um, enormous dynamic um plans for us for us to be great and for us to be awesome people and we have to walk into that destiny we have to do it and the thing is we know deep down that we are destined to do great things but sometimes we are not holding that pen we're not doing that thing that we want to do that is the thought this morning that's the sip from the cup of inspiration and then i'm so excited to tell you about today's product oh my goodness as you know if you do not know as yet i'm an avon representative a proud avon entrepreneur oh my goodness velvet velvet is our absolute newest fragrance i hope you can see it i hope it's not upside down it's velvet it's velvet the, the, the cap is made of velvet oh my goodness it is mm -mm. it is good it is good and velvet is not even so it's not sold by itself it is sold with a um a shower gel and a body lotion and of course as we know when we layer it stays longer <laughs> So we shower with it, we lotion with it, and then we spray it on. And velvet is awesome. Velvet is the this our newest fragrance that we have in Avon. It's an awesome, awesome gift for yourself or for a loved one. And it is one of those fragrances that anyone would like it anyone it, it is rich with possibilities inspired by the sophisticated yet um scrumptious like, sensuous touch of violent this fragrance is a, a luxurious blend of luxurious figs sumptuous rose and warm petabouli oh my goodness listen i love it i know you will love it too it's a must get for this season for any birthday anniversary christmas huh did we say christmas oh my god christmas yes but it's good and listen get it listen write that story write that story yourself Hold that pen and get that velvet. This has been a cup of inspiration and um, served with um, a, one of Avon char Avon's charm. My name is Angeline Fletcher. All my details will be in, this, in the description of this video. I love you. I thank you. And God bless you. You are awesome. You can do it. Have yourself a great day.